this is my tent site at Griffith Lake campsite. It is 48 degrees this morning. I am wearing a puffy coat. <laughs> it's chilly and it felt really good sleeping all night in my sleeping bag. I wasn't hot. I'm getting my winter gear back in a couple days. I have a box coming from home that'll meet me at the next town, so that'll be good. It'll mean I'll have to carry probably an extra pound or two, but I'm going to send home some of my summer gear to try to even that out a little bit and have a little less weight to carry. Early morning at Griffith Lake. It's cold. You can see the steam coming off the water. This should be fun. It's dry. That's the only thing that matters on these kind of rocks. You can run right up them if it's dry. Well, maybe not run, but get up them anyway. This is Mount Baker that I'm climbing. So far, this is fun. See those blue mountains over the other mountains? The big one's Bear Mountain and then Spruce Mountain. We came over both of those big mountains in the back, the blue ones. That's Dorset Mountain there. We didn't come over the big one there. But look how beautiful it is up here. Just unreal. Still climbing this. You can barely see a white blaze up there at that top rock, but this is the trail. So the guy with the ax that I was telling you about yesterday is hiking northbound like I am. He's right behind me, not too far. I um, passed him this morning. He seems to be pretty harmless. He's very religious. God told him to come out here and hike. And he's not prepared. I'm kind of worried about him. He carries the axe so he can chop wood. I don't know why he carries such a big axe, but and it's hanging off of his coat, so it scares people, you know. He seems like a nice guy. He's young. He seems very harmless. So, anyway, he's not prepared. He doesn't have food. He doesn't have supplies. People have been giving him some supplies. He's got a big, heavy bag he's carrying not I don't even think it's really a backpack he doesn't carry it like a backpack anyway kind of carries it over his arm like the axe so one of the hikers gave him food last night after I passed him I thought about it and I stopped and waited for him to catch up and he did not catch up because I was going to give him some of my food too 
but he didn't catch up. I waited quite a while. And he was asking me for directions, so he doesn't seem to have any map or way of knowing where he's going other than the signs and the blazes, which aren't always the best. And he had kind of gotten him himself into a spot where he wasn't sure where to go, and I had to tell him. So I hope he's not already lost. It's pretty cool right now. We are in the southbound bubble. We pass a lot of southbounders going the opposite direction every day. They start later than we do because they have to start at Katahdin. And Katahdin is icy and snowy. So it doesn't even open until mid-June. So most of these hikers started in mid-June on Katahdin. And now they're here in Vermont. So every day we're pat now... For the last week or so, we've been passing a good many southbounders that are just, have just been on the trail for a month and a half or so. But they've already done all the hardest stuff on the trail, which is kind of cool. We've done a lot of miles on the trail, but they've done the hardest stuff. The Katahdin and Whites being the hardest along this river, getting ready to cross the bridge, so I'll be able to show it to you better. got trail magic from Nesimus. We met him, Linda and I met him way back, I can't remember if it was New Jersey or Connecticut, but he was sitting beside the trail in a camper and gave us ice cream sandwiches. Well, he pulled up, I was sitting on a rock right by a trailhead, he pulled up and got out the ice cream sandwiches and gave me another ice cream sandwich in Vermont. How cool is that? So thank you for that trail magic. Oh, also a protein bar too. Very nice.
Can you see the people up on top of that rock? Walking alongside the lake. So pretty through here. I really like Vermont, except for all the mud. <laughs> But it hasn't been quite as bad today. I've had a couple days to dry out. You can see how clear that water is. It's beautiful. A last look at the lake. We're hiking away from it. Well, this is interesting, an old wall. And on top of it, it looks like old farming stuff, tractor parts or something. Very quiet here. Again, just like birds. I heard some birds earlier, lower, but once we get up here in the higher mountain, there's just no birds. It's very strange. little frog. <laughs> He's in a mud puddle on in the middle of the trail. I have seen pictures of this. The sign says White Rocks Cliff Trail, which is over there. I'm not going to go down there. There's a waterfall down there. Very visible through the trees. I'm going to go down here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. 
on the trail. I got off the trail and was able to get down to where I could see the waterfall a little bit better. I'll get across here. See a white blaze on the tree on the other side. hiking up the trail and I spot this nice little spot here. It's about 6.30. I'm tired. I'd like to eat and go to sleep. I've already put in, I think, 16 miles or maybe more. So I think this might be home for the night. This looks like a great spot. And I've got enough water. I don't need a place with water, access to water. So... This is a nice spot to set up a tent. So there's actually several nice spots to set up a tent.